Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Shenmue 3 on the GTX 750Ti to skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description and thanks to the publisher for providing a copy of the game. So on this card I'll show you 1080p, 900p and 720p. This time around I overclocked the GTX 750Ti on all the resolutions just for it to be more consistent. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Do you want me to overclock only on 1080p or do you want to overclock on the other resolutions as well? Again, this time around, I overclock across the whole video so it's more consistent. For 900p and 1080p, I'll show you only one configuration, which is high settings targeting 30 frames per second. Even by going to the lowest settings, it was impossible to get 60 frames. It was nowhere close to that number. At 720p, on the other hand, I was able to get 60 frames on medium settings and then over 30 on the highest settings. So at least you have options to go for either 30 or 60 and if you don't overclock your card expect below 30 on 1080p high and the other resolutions shouldn't be that different. So in the options menu we don't get much, I'm pretty disappointed about that on a real engine 4 game. They usually have post processing, shadows and many other options for you to choose from. On this one you can only choose between presets, vsync on or off and the resolution on a limited list. So in the presets you got low, medium, high or very high. Between high and very high the performance difference is very small, 2 or 3 frames per second. I would use this if on very high you get 30 frames per second and you want to be at 32 or something like that. Then when you go to medium there is a very significant performance difference, but there's less foliage, less detailed shadows, the draw distance isn't as good, but again you get a noticeable FPS boost. And finally if you go to low, which I do not recommend in this case, pretty much all the foliage is removed, there's worse draw distances, and the post processing effects are almost all of them gone. So my advice here is to use medium setting, if on high or very high you're not getting the performance that you want. Then on the resolution options, you got options for windowed resolutions, borderless full screen, or full screen options. In the full screen options I couldn't find 900p or 1800p for example, I only found 720p, 1080p, 1440p and 4k. So if you want to use for example 1800p or 900p, my recommendation is to set your windows resolution on your screen to 900p or 1800p and then inside the game use a borderless full screen that will render the game at the resolution that you chose on your desktop. Considering how this game is, I don't really think that 60 frames per second is absolutely necessary. The fighting didn't seem very responsive, there's a lot of dialogue and cinematics going on, but if your PC is good enough, you can go for it. For the testing, I ran around one of the first areas of the game, so I went through a lot of places with tons of foliage. Then once I get into the small village, you'll see a noticeable performance hit, especially in the main square, and that was pretty much my test. I don't know how the city areas run, but once I get there I'll update the description to let you know if there is a huge difference. On the CPU side I didn't see much of a problem, there are some stutters every now and then when you get to the villages, but it doesn't seem to be CPU related. So a quad core CPU should be more than enough to handle this game at 60 frames per second. But anyway guys, that's about it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time! Maybe I'll talk to a few folks around here.
Maybe I'll talk to a few folks around here. I should talk to more people around here.